What's up America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I've been thinking about dying lately, so I figured I might go ahead and uh, get on down there and get things prepared uh, for what they're going to do with my body whenever I do go on out there and die. I, I mean, I, it ain't like I want to die right away, you know, but I always kind of thought it'd be cool to die on your birthday just as long as it wasn't my next birthday coming up. So anyways, uh, I, but I want to get prepared just in case. Uh, I'm going to keep on in there as long as I can. So anyways, I'm going down there to the funeral home, and I was driving down there, and I was thinking, it's kind of funny, you know, them old funeral directors, they all look alike. They wear these black suits, and they kind of clasp their hands in front of themselves. They stand there with a little smirk on their face, like, uh, we're waiting to get you, you know, and they are, they're just waiting to get you. So anyways, I went on down there, I was thinking about that, chuckling. And uh, so I got down there, and uh, sit down with a feller in the funeral home, and I said, look here, I said, uh, I'm Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. You probably heard of me. I said, I'm pretty famous. So I figured uh, maybe you could give me a discount on uh, my cremation, you know, because you'd be famous for cremating me and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and I said, how much money you want to do it? And he said, a thousand dollars. I said, you get to be kidding me. I said, you want a thousand dollars just to cremate somebody? Just build a little fire and throw them on there? He said, yes, sir. He said, uh, that's how much we've got to get. And I said, well, how come it costs so much? He said, well, he said, first of all, he said, we got to come pick you up. He said, that's $350 to come and get you and uh, bring you back up here to the funeral home. And I said, well, that's a pretty expensive taxi ride. I said, uh, wouldn't you reckon you just call the taxi and they, my kids could throw me in the back seat and they could bring me up here for $15? I mean, that's what the charge. He said, no, sir, there's a state law against that. I said, well, that's a bunch of crap. I said, I wonder who got that law passed. He, he said, I don't know. I said, well, I bet you I know you did. So I said, okay, I uh, got to pay that. I said, uh, so what else are charges in there? And he said, well, then there's another $350 to wash the body. And I said, oh, hold on right there. I said, what's the sense in washing the body if you're going to throw it up in there and cremate it up in the fire? That don't make no sense. Take that off of there. He said, I can't take that off of there. He said, that's a state law, too. I said, well, I say I ain't going to get nowhere with you. Um, so uh, what else you got there that you got to charge me for? He said, well, that's all it. He said, but uh, would you be interested uh, perhaps uh, in a yarn? I said, uh, I, I, I don't earn much money at all. What are you talking about? He said, no, a yarn. I said, what in the hell is a yarn? And he pointed up on the wall up there and it was like a jar up there. And he said, that's a yarn. He said, uh, that's what you put the ashes in for your family to uh, remember you in. They can put it up on the mantle of the fireplace. And as they walk by each day, uh, they could uh, be in remembrance of you. You know, your family, your grandkids and stuff like that. And I said, uh, yeah, I said, uh, so what do you reckon will happen if uh, like the grandkids is uh, walking along up there? And they knocked it off and all the ashes fell down on the floor in front of the fireplace. And, uh, and they couldn't they had to sweep it all up and they couldn't get it all up and they couldn't get it back full and everything. So you reckon they'd take some ashes out of the fireplace and fill it on up so nobody would know about it? He said, sir, I just don't know. I said, well, I know my grandkids are pretty smart. That's probably what they do. And I, if they did, I think it'd be funnier than hell. But anyways, all right. So no, I don't think, uh, I don't know. How much is one of them yarns? And he said, well, they start at $500 and go up. I said, $500? He said, yes, sir. That's what they start. I said, no. I said, now, what about, uh, what, what do you do if nobody buys a yarn at all? And he said, well, we just put you in a plastic bag and write your name on it with a magic marker. And I said, well, that sounds pretty good to me. That's what you could do. And the kids can just take it on out to the river and throw me in the river. That's what I want to be done with matches anyhow. So that's what we're going to do. Here's your thousand dollars. Um, I got to run some other errands. I'll see you later. So I was out of there. And I got on in the car and I went on up there to the driver's license place because I had to get my driver's license done. And so uh, when I got there, I went in there, a nice little lady, she was giving me my driver's license. She said, would you like to be an organ donor? And I said, uh, yeah, I said, uh, I wouldn't mind being an organ donor. And I said, uh, you reckon they'd take the organs from an old man like me? She said, oh, yes. Yeah. She said, they could use your eyes and your liver and your lungs and uh, all that kind of stuff. She said, uh, it helps out a lot of people. I said, okay. Sign me on up for that. And she said, okay. She said, would you like to go ahead and register to vote? And I said, yeah. 
And she said, what party would you like to be in? And I said, I, I'm a Jim Bob from Jim Bob Commentary Channel. I'm a chairman of the Poor People's Party. That's the one I want you to sign me up for. She said, sir, I don't have that one on the list. I can't do it. I said, uh, you don't. I said, well, what do you got on the list? She said, well, I got Republicans, I got uh, Democrats, and I got Independents. And uh, you have to pick one of them three. And I said, well, I don't know. That's put me on down there as independent or something or other, and uh, I'll do that. So she did that, and then I, I, I done that and got my license, and I hit on back home. So I'm driving back home, and I got to thinking about myself. I said, Daggummit, I said, uh, I ought to be able to get uh, some money off on, on this uh, funeral thing on account I'm donating all my body parts and stuff like that. And so uh, I got on the cell phone there, you know, I got automatic cell phone, I don't have to hand, hands free thing, and I called that guy up in the funeral home, I said, hey, I said, I just come from a driver's license place, and I done uh, donated all my organs when I get killed, and so uh, I'm not going to have no lungs and no liver, and, uh, and I ain't going to have no kidneys, and I ain't going to have no eyeballs or nothing like that. I'm even going to get, as soon as I get home, I'm going to call up the science people and donate my brain to them on account of I'm Jim Bob from Jim Bob's commentary channel, and I've got a pretty damn good brain. And so it, you ought to be able to cut at least 50% off of that bill and send me $500 back. He said, sir, I can't do that. I said, yes, you can. He said, no, I can't. We argued back and forth, but anyways, uh, he won. I, I didn't get no money back. So anyhow, uh, I got all set up and everything, and I got home, and I got up on the internet, and I'm now trying to find out how I can uh, donate my brain to somebody, and uh, so that Jim Bob's brain will be famous in the science and stuff like that, you know. So anyhow, uh, that's it for today. Jim Bob's out.